Well, hi everyone. I happen to be in Kyoto, Japan today. Of course, Kyoto being one of Japan's major attractions. And I'm spending a week at this hotel here, the Toyoko Inn in Kyoto. Now, there's a number of Toyoko Inns in Kyoto, and there's hundreds of them all around the country. They're a nice, basic, budget chain of hotels. I like staying here. The rooms are a little small, but they've got everything you need, and they're clean and modern. And speaking of modern, this one opened one month ago in February of 2023. It's a brand new hotel. Now, uh, the location I think is pretty good. It's on Horikawa Dori, which is one of the main streets here in Kyoto. Uh, we're about three blocks from the Nijo Castle, which is a top attraction, and three blocks also from a subway line, and there are buses that run right in front of the hotel and take you to Kyoto Station and other areas of town. So, I like this place, gonna do a review, show you my room, some of the amenities. Here we are, the Toyoko Inn in Kyoto on Horikawa Dori, very close to the Nijo Castle. About one block from the hotel, we have the Sanjo Commercial Passageway. It's a covered commercial street, runs about three or four blocks and it's loaded with restaurants and other stuff. Now, if it's raining and you're hungry, go in there. You'll find a good place to eat. It's not really a tourist attraction, it's more for locals, but uh, I've used it a couple of times. And right next door, there is a Lawson. Okay, let's take a look at my room here at the Toyoko Inn on Horikawa Dori in Kyoto, Japan. Wow, I'm up on the 10th floor, the highest floor in the uh, hotel. The door actually opens out, and let's get this key in here, and we'll take a look at the room. Now, the room is not very large, as you know. These hotels have small rooms. I'm going to go into wide angle. And uh, I did a review of the uh, Odawara uh, Toyoko Inn a few months ago. The room here is almost identical. It's a small room. Believe it or not, what I have is um, a little larger than a single room. This is actually called a double room for single use. It's a king-size bed, and there's actually uh, two people that uh, are, are, are slated to be in this room, but I'm the only one in here right now. So I'm not gonna show you anything out the window because there's no view. You're looking at a building next door and my uh, suitcase is on the floor because there's no room, but uh, you can see where I hang my clothes. The bed is good. I've been in it for almost a week and the room is very well designed. We have desk space right here. Of course, a TV, there's a fridge, and um, everything you need right here as far as the desk goes and power plugs and things like that. It's very well designed, it's small, it's brand new, and I give it two thumbs up. The Toyoko Inn here on uh, Horikawa Dori in Kyoto. Last thing, we'll look at the bathroom. And let's go and take a look at the bathroom here. Okay, still in the wide angle. Um, similar to other Toyoko Inns I've been in, we have a standard sink, Japanese-style toilet, and even a tub and shower. There it is. So it's everything you need. It's a little cramped, but you know what? I can get used to it, and maybe you can too. So this is it. The Toyoko Inn here on Hor Horikawa Dori, brand new in Kyoto. Now I'm going to show you a few more amenities to the hotel. And we're going to...
going to wrap up the video. And now, it's time to say goodbye from the Toyoko Inn, Kyoto, Japan. You never know where destiny will take you.